Her Majesty was welcomed to her Scottish residence with a small ceremony outside the castle gates. She inspected a guard of honour and then met the Royal Regiment of Scotland's mascot, Shetland Pony Lance Corporal Cruachan IV. The Queen has been at the estate over the last month, where she usually stays until early October. She also traditionally inspects troops when she takes up residence at the castle and, outside the gates, the head of state cast her eye over soldiers from Balaclava Company, 5th Battalion the Royal Regiment of Scotland. This will be her first summer holiday at her Scottish estate since Prince Philip died in April, at the age of 99. The Queen is also set to host other members of the royal family this summer too. This may include the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, as well as Prince Edward and the Countess of Wessex and Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall. A source told The Sun, the family barbecues are back on the agenda even without Philip there for the first time. Sources also claimed Sarah Ferguson may have been invited to stay this summer too. Mail Online's Richard Eden reported, Sarah Ferguson is coming. She will be here with Andrew. The ex-wife of Prince Andrew was known for having a tense relationship with Prince Philip. It's not yet known whether Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie will be in attendance with their parents. Daily Express royal correspondent Richard Palmer also reported Prime Minister Boris Johnson and wife Carrie may also attend. However, Buckingham Palace has not yet confirmed the guest list. However, the Queen is not expected to treat her stay as a holiday. Each day she will receive information in the form of policy papers, cabinet documents and other state papers for her attention from government ministers, and from her representatives in the Commonwealth and foreign countries. These are sent up to her by private secretaries in the red boxes also used by government ministers to carry confidential documents. The Queen left for Scotland just over two weeks ago and is believed to have been staying at Craigown Lodge on the Balmoral Estate. 